Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Stutzman, and I'm the Recycling Coordinator for Mill Creek Township. Today, we are going to learn about four really important words. Garbage, or trash, landfill, recycling, and litter. I want you to take just a few seconds to think about something you threw away at home or at school today. I'm going to name three pieces of garbage that I threw into the trash can today. And let's see if we came up with some of the same items. A candy bar wrapper, food, and a broken toy. Some items are thrown away forever and will go to a large mountain of garbage called a landfill, while other items can be used over and over again, which is called recycling. And this neat symbol with arrows here means recycling. A few really special items that can be recycled in a recycling bin are plastic water bottles and plastic milk jugs, soup cans and pop cans, newspaper and regular paper, and cardboard boxes. Recycling is important because it can help us save our planet Earth. We only have one planet and we need to take good care of it. It is also super important to remember to never throw garbage or recycling onto the ground. Throwing garbage onto the ground instead of throwing it into a trash can is called litter. Yuck! Now that I have mentioned the word litter, let's take a few minutes to read a story. The Day the Trash Came Out to Play by David M. Beadle, illustrated by Lori A. Faust. There is a town called Sutton Nash, a wonderful place to stay, except for one time not long ago, the day the trash came out to play. Sutton Nash was neat and tidy, with the cleanest streets of all. Each leaf was raked, each speck removed, as soon as it would fall. But then one cool and windy day, a boy walked down the street. His name was Robin, and in his hand, a delicious, mouth-watering treat. Robin peeled the pretty paper that covered up the candy. He tossed the wrapper on the street. Now, it didn't look so dandy. For at that moment, something happened, as quick as fire and a flash. When the paper hit the ground, it became a piece of trash. Robin laughed to see the wind blow the trash up in the air. Soon, he said, it will blow out of sight, so I really needn't care. What Robin forgot to think about is that it has to go somewhere. Help, help, cried the little piece of trash. I don't want to be blowing free. And just as it was shouting this, it hit a bumblebee. I beg your pardon, said the wrapper, for getting in your way. But I'm at the whimsy of the wind, and the wind blows hard today. Before the wrapper could say farewell, another gust came down. It grabbed that worn old piece of paper and blew it all over town. Suddenly, from every garbage can, other trash came out to play. Because they saw someone else go first, they thought it was okay. Old newspapers, soda cans, egg cartons, and lint. Chip packets, broken tennis rackets, old springs and splints. Bottles, a television, and a smelly old shoe. With a hole in the sole where the water gets through. Broken toys and junk mail. You can be sure there was plenty of that. There was even a pair of worn out gloves and a matching scruffy hat. A couple of kids saw what was happening. They couldn't believe their eyes. 
Look over there, they shouted out to the people passing by. Robin's head got rather dizzy from all the blowing trash. He stood there in the dirty street of filthy Sutton Nash. Someone asked, how do we clean up in this cold and gusty weather? Robin spoke up. He had made a plan. We must work together. When everyone heard what Robin said, they knew what had to be done. They gathered up the runaway trash, each piece, one by one. They turned to Robin's wrapper that was blowing in the sky. They stood upon each other's shoulders, but still it blew too high. Then Robin used a fishing net he borrowed from a boy. He caught that tired piece of paper and everyone cheered with joy. He threw the paper in the trash for all the town to see. Thank goodness, said the candy wrapper, this is where I want to be. A good thing came from that windy day when the trash went on a caper. The town built a recycling center for bottles, cans, and paper. There is a town called Sutton Nash, a wonderful place to stay except for one time, not long ago, the day the trash came out to play. The end. Boys and girls, we all have to do our part to protect nature and the environment. If we clean up after ourselves, our community will be a beautiful place to live in that everyone can enjoy. Students and teachers, I really liked visiting with you today. Thank you for letting me be a part of today's lesson on recycling. For more informative videos on trash, recycling, and composting, please tune in to the Milk Creek Government channel on YouTube. See you next time.